In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yesterday, during the Divine Liturgy, when we had the children here from the church school, we talked about the Gospel reading yesterday. And that Gospel started by saying, No one, when he has lit a lamp, covers it with a vessel or puts it under a bed, but sets it on a lampstand that those who enter may see the light. And I spoke to the children yesterday about the importance of us ourselves being a light to others. Each of us is called to be children of the light, sons and daughters of the light, sons and daughters of the living God. And God himself is light, and we are called to be like God. We are called to be a witness to all the world and all that we do. As Orthodox Christians, we have a very proud heritage. We are the church who sent Peter to Rome. We are the church who sent Paul to Athens. And we are the church who sent missionaries across the entire globe at the beginning of the Christian world. We have a long, and glorious history, a theology of worship and the love of God. Our church has a multitude of witnesses and martyrs who died for the faith in order to bear witness to Christ and to be a light to this world. Every one of us who has been baptized into that baptismal font and has risen into Christ, into the new Adam, and ourselves who have put on Christ, have been made sons and daughters of the living God, children of the light. And we are called to live our lives as though we have been illumined, as though the Holy Spirit has been sealed upon us and given to every one of us because it is so. So let us this day give thanks to God for all the great blessings. And let us be mindful of the words of our Lord as that gospel was ended yesterday. And there was a great crowd amongst Jesus as he was teaching and teaching about the light. And they came to him and said, your mother and your brothers are trying to come to see you, but they cannot because of the crowd. And Jesus looked at them and he said, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. May we be that kind of light to the world. As I spoke to the children yesterday, that the world will know what it means to be a Christian by seeing us. The world will know what it means to receive the love of God by receiving our love. The world will know if God is true by seeing if we are true. And the world will know that if God is loving and merciful and kind and compassionate is in fact the light, they will see it because of how we live our lives, how we treat one another, and how we treat even our enemies. May God give us the strength and the wisdom and the love to be a light until this world which so desperately needs the light of Christ and the warmth and mercy and love of God. May we be it so. May God bless you and be with you.